Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here in Traffic Simulator Beta from the Game Devs. Dude, look for this game to come out in 2018. The physics are real. So this is the first game where they actually implemented first person real head movement. It's so sick. You can look around wherever you want in first person. It's going to be coming out for the VR headset. It's pretty dope. Devs did a pretty good job doing cross platform for real truck simulator. You can see people from real truck simulator on PC are able to mesh with, and there's another one, mesh with the uh, real traffic simulator here that are coming out. So, what's also cool about this game is not only do they have NPCs, they have other players as well that can play in the right there. So, yeah, it's pretty sweet. You have NPCs and other real world players in this game have character customization too and like if you were to put sunglasses on your character it actually changes your screen resolution it's actually pretty sweet but don't forget one of the most important things about this game is you gotta actually keep your character hydrated by drinking and making sure you're good I did notice about the game it does notify you when your friends come online and give you a location my uh, one buddy who Emma Hampson's online I tried to load to fast travel and uh, Apparently fast traveling is not available in the game yet because it allows you to drive the full distance. There's that you can actually go to drive throughs and customize your vehicle the way that you want it. Which is pretty insane. I'm currently sitting in line right behind a wrapped Mercedes. What? I just realized this game has a legitimate dash into it too. It tells you your actual RPM speed gear mileage apparently from driving this in this game for so much I almost have 40,000 miles logged onto this car just to add to realism they got realistic uh, tree damage and to finish off this simulator review um I just pulled into my house's garage I found these switches let's see what they do whoa so I figured out on my trip that you can actually put the spare on your car by getting out of the car and using your VR controller and you can actually take all five lug nuts off and change wheels. So I just got off my VR headset so this is what my rig actually looks like what I was playing in the game there's no actual dash there so that was pretty cool. So another cool thing the fun doesn't stop here in traffic simulator just on the highway they have rural roads too full of NPCs, houses, and such like that. It's pretty cool how in depth this game has gotten. Finally, this fucking game took forever to download. <sighs> Graphics are pretty good. See how the nighttime cycle is. Mm -hmm. Hope it's good. Not too much traffic, hopefully. I really like the uh, the manual transmission option. It's always nice to be able to select uh, transmissions. It's the small things that make us make us happy. As well as they even put boost gauges in the game. I was reading up on the forums and apparently if you drive around at night you will be able to find some car meet so I'm going out to test that right now. Looks like they brought even a, a, a pretty good working light system, you know. A lot of NPCs out in this place. Not too many uh, real players out here I don't think. Game's got a pretty good soundtrack, actually. This song just came out for a new movie, and they've already got it in the game. They must have paid a shit ton of money for these licenses. This is ridiculous. That I can tell right now, everything lo pretty, pretty much loads fairly smoothly. Um, I haven't gotten on the highway yet, so there might be a little lag further down. I'll let you guys know, though. Seems pretty good so far.